over the, over the past year, but I've never performed it live beginning to end, so it'll be, uh, be a bit of a challenge. Okay. Um, I don't know which to... Uh, I've, I've got a thinky piece, which is kind of fun, and I'd like to do it. But I'm kind of... I'd like to do a feely piece as well. So I'll do a feely piece that's really short, and then I'll do the thinky piece. It feels like the art bar. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright, fuck it, I'll just do the feeling piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want it, then we'll ask you whether we need to do it. Yeah, no, no. no. It's, 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 the introduction is already way too much introduction. I'm the, uh, you are a uh, poet of choice. I should do it in that accent voice. You're very pretty, though. Thank you very much. What? We do it tonight. Okay. So this is the this is the thinky one. The stinky one. The thinky one. I don't know which one. No, this is this is short. It's about my dad. It seems so inhospitable to love you this way. You were free, effortless, amicable, an easy blend of charming and despicable. Such a worthwhile, honorable cad. But ultimately, just not that good at being bad. Harmless as a child, and therefore a monster. So this is the thank you piece. No, I don't know. This is um, uh, self-evident. It's called On the Nature of Grilled Bread. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Let me explain. There is a part of the brain that when stimulated makes one perceive God. Zzt. God. Zzt. God. There is a part of the brain that, when stimulated, makes one smell burnt toast. Gzzt. Toast. Gzzt. Toast. It's all in the head. And yet, this does not make me question the existence of grilled bread. <laughs> God is a lie. Atheism is a lie. Equal lies that equalize. Let me tell you why. Though God, slash atheism, is true to you, there is nothing you can say or do to make it true for me. Particularly since my God is an atheist. <laughs> Try not to worry about that too much. I know it upsets you to think that others haven't pierced the veil as you, that others wander aimlessly around, bumping into coincidences and misinterpreting them as proof, slash disproof, of God. Surely life has no meaning for the bumblers and the mumblers at the churches, slash, or pubs. Don't they know that the universe is ruled by absolutes, and that every dogmatist agrees universal principles require full certainty that cats observed are either dead or not? Not both, and neither. Of course there is another point of view. Satisfied by proofs among the truths of maths and physics, it's this. Gods and atheists do not exist. At least, not separately. Both observe the non-existence of the other. That's why absolutes and truths consistently defeat detection. Their probability waves that collapse upon their close inspection. But I've made a home in this untidy universe, filled as she is with glorious approximation and strange charm. Maybe that's strange of me, to delight in the necessary tremor of the search for something else. To be satisfied without proof that a thousand unseen hands reach out to me, just as I reach out to touch the face of God. And to sense perhaps that if I ever reached that space, I might feel fingertips on my own. So forgive me if I doubt all gods and atheists, but don't confuse that doubt for lack of faith. I believe absolutely in the existence of toast. <laughs>